Right then, everybody, Manchester United beat Victoria Pleasant 2-1. And listen, it wasn't the greatest game by Manchester United, but we'll be delving deep into the match. We're actually talking about each individual player and ultimately what we learned from the game. Listen, it wasn't the greatest, but how did Manchester United come away with a win there? Because in that first half, it was absolutely atrocious. The way that Manchester United were playing around, absolutely sloppy. But ultimately, it was a very, very costly, mis costly mistake, which cost us. I think in that first half, we were very poor, slow in possession. Um, and I think we really did look very poor throughout the game from start to finish. I think if you look at that first half, it was very weak by Manchester United and that Onana mistake. Listen, when Onana seems to make a mistake, it seems like he makes two, three, four on the bench. We need to get him out of that form. We've got the Manchester derby on the weekend. But that mistake is so simple. De Ligt didn't even want to receive the ball there and Onana has just given the ball to him. I think that was very disappointing. And you look at the grand scheme of things, that massively did affect the game. As I said, yes, the first half we went good enough and we looked so sloppy in possession, we gave the ball away. You look at the goal we conceded, but I think in that second half we were absolutely fantastic. I think Amram got a lot right. I think Hoyland scoring two goals absolutely fantastic, and he did ultimately save us by making those substitutions because I think Anthony did have an impact. Yes, he took a few silly shots, but he did have an impact when he came on. Mount, I mean, we should have ended up winning the game two three one to be honest with you. Uh, Mount should have scored two. Ahmad I thought was absolutely brilliant again, but ultimately it's the Rasmus Hoyland sort of show. The first goal was obviously just. A, just right place, right time. But the second goal was absolutely fantastic. I mean, Manchester United scored from a set piece, which is something you don't hear often. Um, and it wasn't a, a traditional cross, but that Anana mistake for me was was absolutely shocking and something that I don't expect Anana to do ever. It was very, very poor. But listen, it worked. We get the win. Um, and yeah, listen, I think if you look at who else played Rashford, I, I wasn't happy with his performance, but... Rasmus Hoyland for me, that, that goal is absolutely fantastic. I'm just watching it back now. Great hold up and great finish. Ultimately wins this again. Takes up to fifth in the Europa League. It was absolutely fantastic. And I'm so, so happy with that. Um, in terms of other positives, I think the way that we did play in that second half, there was some nice pattern to play. I thought Ahmad, as I said, was absolutely fantastic and has a big impact for him. The main issue is, did he, I'm pretty sure he played 90 minutes. Would that mean he's on the bench against Man City? I hope not. But listen, the fact that Hoyland scored two goals off the bench is absolutely fantastic. A great set piece that was worked and obviously that was something that Manchester United worked on in training. Obviously Amarin was absolutely frustrated, you can see him on the touchline, he was absolutely livid with the way that Manchester United were playing for a large parts of that game. It was so sloppy, I thought the low didn't have the greatest game, I thought defensively we weren't the greatest. But ultimately we come away with the win and that is the most important thing. As I said, I was frustrated in large parts by the result, as many I thought we started off so, it was so lethargic early on into the game and just didn't look confident at all. We looked like we were a team that were really struggling. I think it was Rasmus Hoyland that does save the day, really, and does get us the point. Because otherwise, you're looking at that um, as a very poor result. Now, as I said, Rashford, his performance was absolutely shocking. I did listen. I like Rashford, and with all the rumours going on, you hoped he could put in a good performance, but it was just really lacklustre. Um, I think he was very poor in terms of other players. I think. Garnacho when he came on was okay. Mason Mount, I liked his performance. Defensively, Martinez, Onana, but the Onana one's really, really poor, to be honest with you. I expect a lot from Onana, and I didn't expect that mistake. It's just a very simple error to make. On the on the whole, first half was very poor. Second half, we looked better. So I think Manchester United did deserve to get the win in, in that sort of aspect. Hoyland, listen, he's got six goals. I think he's got like nine goals and 11 assists. Um... I thought Ahmad Diallo was fantastic. Um, he's our best number 10 on wing-back, which is something insane. I think the first half was definitely the worst performances we've seen under Ruben Amrim by the individuals and the players. We were so sloppy, so lacklustre and didn't really oppose anything. Um, Bruno Fernandes, listen, proven. I think Bruno, at times, he was very sloppy in midfield. He was looking for that diagonal for Rashford so much and didn't really seem to work off. But in the second half, I think he looked very, very good. Did he get two assists? But he should have got a few assists with the chances that Manchester United had. I think in that second half, it was so much better. I think players players are still really trying to figure out the Amram system, where to go, where to not. And I think they do need to be a bit more risk-taking and play with a bit more kind of on edge and really thinking about it too much. Hoyland has 10 goals in nine European games, giving the ball and he will score. Masrari was excellent. Um, and as I said, it was clear why Amarin was fuming in that first half because it was very, very poor. As I said, the second half, I really did like the second half. Um, 
I, I really did. I really did like it. Ruben Amram has delivered Manchester United first away win in Europe since March 2023, so that's something. Um, I think De Ligt did struggle at times on the ball, um, but he's got to come over that. As I said, we had a lot of counter attacks which we sh we should have conceded. Um, and we should have scored from. But this and ultimately was a great game by Manchester United. We're very happy we take the three points and we move on. Um, Rasmus Hoyland complaining a lot to Ahmad Diallo after the game. It seems there was a bit of a bit of issues going on there, which obviously you don't want to see. I think Ahmad did have a very good game, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I really did like his performance. He's our best number 10, best winger. At times he did struggle. I think in the first half, most of the team did struggle. Um... But as I said, Anthony, I think when he came on, was okay. But I think Mason Mount, when he came on, the subs massively changed the game. And you look at Amarim, you have to be able to change in game. And I think the team that he picked, listen, it was a decent team. I would not have chosen that team. Um, but he picked the team, he, he ran with the team, and the subs that he made absolutely worked. And I think that's something that he's got to take with him into that game against City and um, that's going to be another tough game but I think Rasmus Holden for me was absolutely fantastic when he came on look at Zerks he listened I thought Zerks it was actually good I think he had a good game in that first half when he was on the pitch and um, great hold up play he had that one run which was fantastic but overall if you look at the stats from the game Manchester United did have a lot of shots and I think based on that second half performance we did deserve to win Hoyland does save the day it was a Hoyland sort of madness um and as I said, let's look at the stats quickly. Manchester United has 68% possession, um, 17 shots, 8 on target, 6 big chances and 4 big chances missed. So we should have ultimately won the game and that's something that Manchester United did not do. But Oh sorry, that, so we should have won the game and we did. At times it didn't look, didn't look like we would. But I'm very, very happy. Listen, the negatives, Onana makes a mistake. I thought Delo was struggling at that wing-back position, I think, um, in midfield. I think players players were struggling as well. Um, but listen, there's positives to take. Um, the fact that it ended like this, I, t I genuinely would take it. Yes, it wasn't the greatest watch on the eye. And people are criticising the rush with the, the players who didn't have the greatest game, which is fair enough because I don't think there was enough intent in the game. I think Amarin will be frustrated. But overall, I can say Rasmus is the man of the match. I thought the fact that he came on, scored two great goals, single-handedly won Manchester United the game. Um and yeah, we take it, we move, team togetherness, all of that momentum. And I think Rashford, I think he was probably my only disappointment. I'm hoping Rashford can really improve. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. Peace.